Well, today marks the start of three days of public remembrances for the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I want to show you a live look right now of the Supreme Court building where Justice Ginsburg is lying in repose for the next two days before she makes history as the first woman to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol on Friday. This as President Trump is poised to nominate her replacement. CBS 13's Skylar Henry has more details. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg arrived at the Supreme Court for the last time Wednesday, where she now lies in repose. Ginsburg was remembered as a trailblazer and a fierce advocate for women's rights. This was Justice Ginsburg's life's work to insist that the Constitution deliver on its promise that we, the people, would include all the people. Chief Justice John Roberts said Ginsburg's opinions will guide the court for decades to come. She will live on in what she did to improve the law and the lives of all of us. And yet, still, Ruth is gone and we grieve. Carolyn Curry, Talman, and Renee Bobbitt came from Florida to pay their respects. You know, so many of the things that we take for granted as women and people, you know, she was instrumental in, in providing. So that's, that's really why we felt like we had to be here. President Trump is expected to come to the Supreme Court to pay his respects to Justice Ginsburg tomorrow. The president says he needs to move quickly to name her replacement so the full court can hear any cases that come up from the November election. You're going to need nine justices up there. I think it's going to be very important because what they're doing is a hoax with the ballots. They're sending out tens of millions of ballots unsolicited. President Trump met with Judge Amy Coney Barrett for a second time at the White House Tuesday. And sources tell CBS News she is the leading candidate to replace Justice Ginsburg on the bench. The president will name his replacement for Justice Ginsburg Saturday at the White House. Republicans say they have the votes to confirm whomever the president picks for that post.